Hey Leo, and welcome to Awesome Talk with Hey Matt Frat. Today's a pretty special vlog. Um, it was inspired by my uh, Twitter friend Amanda, who once tweeted at me, "Hey, I'm going to be in D.C. What do I do for like two or three hours? I'm in D.C. because they had to work the next day." I thought about it. I, I didn't have an answer. What do you do when you're in Washington D.C. for two hours? And I thought about it, and I was like, I know, walk around, right? Take in whatever sights you can see in the time that you're there. So this, that's what inspired this vlog. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little loop around the mall and see what there is to see. Uh, I'm gonna cut away right now and show you on an actual map some routes that I recommend to do the loop. The first thing you notice is the downtown area looks like a cross with the Capitol, the White House, the Lincoln Memorial, the Jefferson Memorial, and the Washington Monument. This is the route that I took. You can see just about everything, just not up close. Note that it's just about three miles, which you can do in about an hour. If I had had more time, I would have taken this route. It's about six miles long, so it takes at least two hours, but you get to see everything up close. Renting a bike or a scooter would be a great option here. All right, we're going to start out the route kind of in the dead center of the mall. I'm, that's west, and that's the Washington Monument, and you can barely see the Lincoln Memorial in the distance. That's north, and that's east. That's the U.S. Capitol. Uh, this is 14th Street. I'm gonna, for sights, I'm gonna start at the Capitol and work my way counterclockwise around the mall. So over there is the uh, National Gallery of Art. There's the East Wing, which is the new stuff, and the Main Wing, which is the old stuff. Bam. That is the Museum of Natural History. The way I remember it is it looks like, like there's little, I don't know, the dome has like scales on it, and so it looks like an animal. So that's how I remember it. Uh, of course, you see like the dinosaurs and the whale and the big elephant in front. Now that is the Museum of American History. The way I remember that is it's like totally the most boring looking museum. Like it's a big square. So like in American history, well, it's not boring, but you know, when you're a kid, you think it's boring. Of course, uh, one of the newest additions to the mall. You can see the line over there. Very hard to get into. I, I'm not even sure you can get in on the same day. You need to get tickets in advance to go to it. I have been there once and uh, it's exquisite and uh, you know, be ready, it's rough. Um, it's rough. So it's the National Museum of um, African American History and Culture, okay. You might be wondering what those are. Those are food trucks. I think the story goes, you know, they didn't want a ton of restaurants down here. They wanted to keep it more serious. The best museum food, I think without question, is the, at the um, Native American Museum. It's a little pricey, but you know, it's exquisite. You know, there's a big cafeteria at, at American History. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a McDonald's at Air and Space. There's a bunch of places to eat. Now you might be wondering what these guys are. Those are not museums. Uh, those are federal agencies. That is your federal government at work. There are lots of them. I think, and you know, there's a pretty famous law in D.C. where, you know, buildings can't be taller than the Capitol Rotunda. You know, it's a really kind of unique city in that there just aren't a lot of tall buildings and a lot of, it's kind of sort of boring. The architecture is not terribly exciting. Um, and there are a lot of federal buildings. I'm not sure what that one is there, actually. In fact, both of my parents were civil servants. My dad, mostly for the Food and Drug Administration. My mom worked for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, which is part of the Department of Energy. And you notice this big circular sidewalk. Yep, that's the ellipse. Because it's not a circle, actually, it's an ellipse. And um, National Christmas Tree is usually right around there. Uh, the South, we, that's the South Lawn over there. That's where the Easter egg hunt is every year. All right, there it is. We got a view of it. I will refrain from political views at this point, but let's suffice to say, I'm not especially proud of that building or the inhabitants of that building right now, but I'm optimistic about our future. And I'll leave it at that. All right, here it comes, big reveal. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here it comes, there it is. There it is. The White House, ladies and gentlemen. Turn around 180 degrees. Bam, that is the Washington Monument and the Jefferson Memorial. Oh, you can see it, look at that, right there. There's the Jefferson, bam, three in a row. Not too shabby, that worked out well. You know, this is the least, I guess, interesting side of the mall. There's no real museums over here. All the museums are on that side, on the east side of the monument. Here, you basically just get 
You get some monuments, you just don't get many museums. And you know, you see a lot of this, like, when you, as you walk around DC, I don't even know, it says the second division, so this is probably some kind of war memorial. This is Constitution Avenue, I don't know if you can read the sign. So, Constitution Avenue, Independence Avenue are the main east-west arteries. Arteries. Uh, the north-south arteries are numbers. The east-west uh, arteries are letters or, um, or words. So yeah, so the way the naming works is, if, if you remember from math class, right, you remember the Cartesian coordinates, remember x-axis, y-axis, well, the, the center of the, the origin, the center of it all is the capital. There are four quadrants, that's why you'll hear north, well, officially we're northwest right now. It's the, the numbers go, you know, first street, second street, third street, and on and on and on, up to about 50th or so. And then it start out with, with letters. Um, go for the east-west roads, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Maybe I should have gotten one of those scooters. Is that what those are? I don't even know. I don't know if those are bikes or scooters. This is the capital bike share if you want a bike. These ones you have to dock. These ones you don't have to dock. Here's these little, here's one of these scooter things. I've never seen one of these. How do you know if it's charged? I don't even know. And that's something. Couldn't tell you what it is. Oh, it's the Federal Reserve. Look at that. It's the Fed. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, it's funny. One thing this is t teaching me is like I, how little I know about the city I grew up in. Well, I grew up in the suburbs. Who am I kidding? I grew up in Bethesda, but I've been here a lot, and there's lots I don't know. So that's what makes this kind of fun. It's like there's a little visitor's book right here. Oh, no, this is the little guide where you can find people. Um, all right, I'm going to not talk while I go through this monument out of respect but um yes here we are we're about to walk through the Vietnam War Memorial All right, that is the conclusion of the Vietnam Memorial. Um, I believe the story goes, there was a design competition for that memorial when a lot of notable people applied for it. Um, there was one sort of unknown sculptor. I think she was from Princeton University, maybe. I think her name was Maya Lin. Now she's famous, obviously, but... Um, and she won it with this really simple, beautiful design. All right, here we go. This is gonna be nice. Here's the Lincoln, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I get a little, I get a little caught up here. I mean, you know, after being walked by the White House and having that feeling, now walking by this monument. Are you kidding me? Now we're talking. Now we're talking here. Whew, there it is. Yeah. The Lincoln Memorial, ladies and gentlemen. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see Abe from this angle. Yeah, look at that. Uh, can you, see, you can see Abe right there. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. There he is, there's Abe. How about that? How about that? There's the view right there. Reflecting pool. Oh, you can see the reflection. Look at that. That's why they call it the reflecting pool, ladies and gentlemen. Because of the reflection. That is due east. That is the monument, obviously, in the Capitol there. Library of Congress. Right there. Fun little fact. Uh, from uh, In that top floor Library of Congress sits the um, National Poet Laureate. The House Page School was also once up there and I worked there for a while. Um, so yeah, that's kind of fun. We are probably at the halfway point now of uh, this walk. Um, let's go and see the Korean War Memorial. Again, very powerful. How powerful is that? Expression on that soldier's face, yeah? I can't imagine. I uh, cannot imagine.
Oh, I think there was a big triathlon today. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Jeez Louise. It's a lot of bikes. In fact, it might be going on right now. I couldn't tell you. Look at all those bikes. Jeez. I have never seen the Martin Luther King Memorial, ever. Um, there's a fascinating story behind it. I think it was finished in 2011. And it had a quote on the front of it that said, I am a drum major for peace. And that quote was paraphrased. He never said that. He said something along the lines of, uh, if I am to be a drum major, let me be a, or something along those lines. It just, it wasn't, and a lot of people complained, including Maya Angelou, and they, they, they not only changed it, they erased it. They didn't, they didn't, I, I just read on Wikipedia, they, they didn't want to do another inscription because of, for structural reasons. So they just sort of erased it, so. All right, it should be right here. This is exciting, this is exciting. Oh, there it is. Oh, and the story goes, what is it, how does it go? Something out of a mountain of evil comes a pebble of hope or something? I, I think I murdered the quote, but it, it's supposed to be a mountain and his statue was supposed to be the pebble. So that's the symbolism here. So there's the mountain, you can see the mountain. We're gonna see in the pebble here in a second, the pebble of hope coming out of the mountain, which is one of his last speeches. There's the quote that I was looking for. Out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. So that's the mountain of despair. And this is the stone of hope. No, look at that. I think, I think the quote used to be there and they erased it pretty sure, or maybe it was on the other side, I'm not sure. All right, so I don't see my favorite quote that deals with the content of one's character. Um, I forget the entire quote, I will try to insert that later. Um, but it might, it might be further back in the uh, monument, not sure. Okay. There's another little monument there. I think that's a monument to the District of Columbia. I'm not positive. That's the District of Columbia War Memorial. We can go to war, but we can't have any representation in our Congress. Figure that one out. Um, yeah. Uh, we're gonna see the Tidal Basin in one moment. Obviously the Tidal Basin, uh, famous for the cherry blossoms the biggest touristing, touristy part of the year. Um, of course, very beautiful. You can act, you'll see them ringing. They obviously, they're not blooming now, it's September, but we're at May, uh, you'll see them. In fact, you can see all of these trees are cherry blossom trees, these sort of shortish trees here. I believe the story goes gift from the government of Japan uh, with respect to World War II. Yeah, these are all cherry blossom trees, all of these. And these light up in pink and white uh, in the early spring, earlier and earlier and earlier it seems due to climate change. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, there it is. There's old Jefferson. Jefferson Memorial in the Tidal Basin. Obviously I have a few mixed feelings about old TJ, obviously a major slave owner, definitely not a perfect man by any stretch, but a heck of a writer and uh, apparently a ladies man. I was actually in the musical 1776. True story, Little Theater of Alexandria. Wow, yeah, LTA, I'm sure they're still around. They've been around forever. I played a tiny, tiny ensemble part. A congressman from New Hampshire, whose name is giving me right now. Um, all right, let's look around the Tidal Basin. I think that has to be FDR. Uh, it's an amazing uh, memorial. I highly recommend. I think, well, maybe that's the bridge. Maybe FDR is over there. Oh, okay, you can't. I almost missed it. That's the World War II uh, memorial over there. Again, it doesn't look like much from afar. I actually had, believe it or not, and I'm not kidding, I actually had an uncle. An uncle died in World War II. Um, I am the youngest of three. My dad is the youngest of eight, so that's how that worked out. And he's actually buried at Arlington National Cemetery, 
which is, well, you can see the National Airport Tower right there. The Pentagon and Arlington Cemetery are over there. You obviously would never walk there. You would metro there or, or drive there. But that's where that is. I live actually very close to that as well. So next stop on our list is the Holocaust Museum. Um, you know, again on the must visit list. I haven't been there in many years, but you know, you don't forget it. You don't forget it when, when you go there. You know, one thing about DC, some of the wackiest roads, old Pierre L'Enfant laid this sucker out way before they were cars and like, like right now, like what is this? Like no sidewalks, this is crazy. Everything's all curvy and traffic circles we call them here. Some people call them roundabouts. Whatever, they're, they're awful. We have not, there actually are none down here really, but they're just horrible, a terrible, terrible idea. That is the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. That's where they make the money. Uh, highly recommend it. You see the money go by, all the bills and the denominations. And that's, that's what you're looking for. That's um, the main symbol of the Holocaust Museum. Very easy to spot, like I said, the red bricks. All right, so we're actually very, very close to where we started. This is 14th Street. I actually looked it up on Wikipedia. The four most popular, actually the, the three most popular museums in the world are, uh, I believe it's Louvre, Paris, Museum of China, and number three is the Air and Space Museum. The four most popular in DC are, Air and Space is one, Natural History is two, uh, National Gallery of Art is three, and American History is the fourth most popular. So again, not necessarily the ones, like if you're limited on time, not necessarily the ones you want to go to, like I said, you know, museum. I mean, the, the ones that are going to give you run for the money are museum, um, African American history, and Holocaust. I mean, actually, I know what, I've never been to the spy museum. It's, it's not, it's, it's a little further downtown. Uh, it's not on the mall. It costs quite a bit of money, but it's supposed to be fun. You know, it's just fun. So this is the museum, the Freer Gallery, right behind, I believe that's the Sackler. What is that? Oh, Trump. Oh my God, is that a Trump rally? What is that? Anyway, that is the Smithsonian Castle. Smithsonian Metro Stop is right behind it. So there's a merry-go-round. That's arts and industry. That's the museum. So that's the Hirschhorn. And right across the street from it is the Sculpture Garden. Highly recommend. Lots of fascinating things to see here. Um, another must-see museum is the Native American Museum. I don't think we're going to catch a glimpse of it. It is right next to the air and space. Maybe we can? No. But it would be right there. I think we're going to end it there. Um, oh, and that's the archives, actually. Uh, that is where I think the Declaration of Independence and the Con a copy of the Constitution are held. The museum is right behind it, by the way. So that is the conclusion of our tour of Washington, D.C., our one-hour tour. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's funny, you know, I, I did a very ambitious blog this weekend. This is the first weekend I'm away from my wife. She's in Pennsylvania. She's got a, she's the head of a school there. Um, and uh, I didn't know what to do with myself. So when it was, I don't know, I just like, well, let's, I kind of wanted to do this video. And uh, here we go. So this is an extra special vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.